Welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you all for supporting us. And we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they happen. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so. My brothers and my sisters, please let us work together with our great leader, Mazen Namdekanu, IPOB, and Eastern Security Network. To make our Biafran dream a reality is a central known government intercepted a lorry that was filled with Fulani terrorist Janja weed, you know, mixed with some cows to deceive people. They were conveyed from Bauchi into Biafran land, but you know, luck ran out of them. When the eagle eye of the sent unknown gunmen captured them and they sent all of them to judgment. They sent all of them to judgment. This attack happened at Oba in Idemili South local government area of Nigeria, Biafra land. The driver, Abdul in Musa and his conductor, Garba Yusuf, were Fulani Janjawi terrorists conveying the other terrorists hiding among the cows. They were intercepted by instant, instantly. They were intercepted instantly by Saint Unknown government and they sent all of them to judgment. My brothers and my sisters, that is what happened to the Fulani Janjaweed. Despite the fact that the Meyeti Allah have said they have taken all of them out, now they are disguising as cattle and hiding among cattle in order to come to Biafran land and cause mayhem. But luck ran out of them. And that is what has happened to them. We have told them we do not need them in Biafra land. They should go back to Futajalon, where they come from. The killings that they have been doing in the north and the southwest is enough. They cannot come to Biafra land and do such nonsense. Saint Nungan men will never allow that to happen. And they can't go into our forest because our gallant men of Eastern Security Network operatives are there defending Biafran forests and bushes. My brothers and my sisters, it has also happened in Southwest region. The Yoruba nation have declared war against the Fulanese, against the Fulani Janjaweed that came to murder over 50 Yoruba indigenous in Igaga, Ibarakba, local government area of Oyo State. Sunday Bowo and his boys are prepared and they have chased them into the forest. In their hideout, where they are being protected by the Nigerian military. They are being protected. But there was a serious gun battle in the forest between the Fulani Janjaweed combined with their Nigerian security forces against the armless Yoruba freedom fighters. The Serikin Fulani escaped judgment, but his son was apprehended. Was apprehended. And probably will be sent to judgment. He will be sent to judgment. You know, the Yoruba Self Determination Group, Ilana Omodua, led by Professor Banji Akitoye, called on the people of Yoruba land in the southwest region to use whatever they can lay their hands on 
to defend themselves and their land against the Fulani Janjaweed. According to the chairman of the Southwest Governors Forum, he advised them to put aside constitutional objection to defend their people, saying Yoruba land has been surrounded and that Yoruba nation must act now. And that was what they did. Imagine them, you know, masquerading as cows and being shipped from Bauti in the north down to Biafran land. Thank God for the eagle eyes of the saint unknown gunmen who spotted them, who saw them, who intercepted them, and sent them to judgment. That's one good thing about St. Onongo men. You know, if they had succeeded, they would have gone to the military barracks where they would be given military uniform and they would start, you know, killing Biafrans, maiming Biafrans, just as they are doing currently. Biafra land can never allow the bloodthirsty killer Fulani Janjaweed into Biafra land. No, we don't want them. Biafra land is a peaceful land and Biafrans are peaceful people. The earlier they know that they are not wanted in Biafra land, the better for them. The better for them. Because they have all been driven out of Biafran forests and bushes. Now they are hiding in their trucks, trailers, mixing with the cows in order to deceive the public with the aid of the Nigerian security forces so that they will now be taken to the barracks where the military will give them uniform and ammunition and they will start, you know, killing Biafrans. Gone are the days. We don't want Biafran land to be like what happened at Ibarakba. No. Where the Fulani Janjaweed came at the middle of the night was killing innocent Yoruba indigents in their sleep. In their sleep. But thank God for a freedom fighter like Sunday Boho. They have taken the war to the Fulani Janjaweed in the forest, in their hideouts. Because they have taken over the whole forest. They have taken over. And now Yoruba nation have resolved to fight back. The Serikin Fulani escaped, but his son did not escape. The Nigerian government have failed willfully to protect the Yoruba people. You know, Nigerian government are made up of Fulani Janjaweed. They are not ready to protect anyone. Rather, they are ready to, you know, depopulate the other indigenous tribes of Nigeria. You know, they are not ready. It is the Nigerian government that is aiding the Fulani Janjaweed in their invasion and all the atrocities that they are committing in Biafra land, in the Yoruba land, and in the Middle Belt. You know, when we consider all the behaviors of the federal government in the face of this danger, you know, to the indigenous people of Nigeria, we cannot but say and conclude that the federal government of Nigeria, the Fulani Nigerian government, is the one sponsoring terror in all our land. They are the one. They are the ones sponsoring terrors. 
They don't want information to go out. And that is why they are banning Twitter, banning everything. So that they can complete their terrorism against Biafrans and other indigenous tribes of Nigeria. But they have failed. Chuko Kikabiyama have sent us the unknown angels, the unknown gunmen, and they spotted them today at Oba in the Demili South local government area of Anambra State, Biafra. They spotted them. The terrorists were coming from Bauchi State to Were. Imagine that. They are going to Were. Because they believe that Olu belongs to them. And that is where they want to start from. Because Serikin Fulani of Imo State, Hope Uzodema, has given Olu to them. He has given Olu to them. But thank God for sending sent unknown gunmen who stopped them. Because when they are stopped, the atrocities in Biafra land also stops. This is a warning note to the, the terrorists in Nigerian military uniform abducting Biafra youth. They will all pay for their sins. They will pay. They will pay. They will pay. Because in coming days, you know, the rain will fall. The rain will fall. And the zoo army will be put to shame. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Please watch out for the next and bye-bye for now.